I do not know who R. Kelly pissed off. But he needs to send that dude a damn edible arrangements. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So it's being reported that, well, there's a couple of things being reported, but, okay, let's go to the first thing being reported. There is a new accuser. There is a new female that has came forth and she's accusing R. Kelly of, I'm not 100% sure yet. As soon as I find out, I'll let y'all know. But she's accusing R. Kelly of something. Now, with this being said, if this is a minor and a minor is accusing R. Kelly of something, then he has no excuse. We, we R. Kelly at this point, any female, any minor that comes forward and says that you've done something to them, at this point, it's up to you to, to prove yourself innocent. I know how we like going innocent until proven guilty. People love saying that. But there's a point when you've been accused of something so often, and it's, it's such a good chance that these accusations are actually correct and founded, that when new accusations come out, it's up to you to prove that it didn't happen. Because the court of popular opinion has made its decision. So at this point, I mean, R. Kelly, if it, especially if it's a minor, R. Kelly is going to have to really come forward and start proving shit. That's a fact. Also, for everybody that don't know, they just, I think, uh, he, he has like a, a a studio in in Chicago, right? It's like a, a warehouse or something or other. And it's like been shut down recently. It went in and had some code violations. One of the violations was, one of the E violations, one of the violations was that it was a uh, fashion to also have living quarters. And this is in a... Uh, it's not in a residential building. It's in a commercial building. And they, they weren't allowed to have any living quarters there at all. And it had living quarters. You know, it also had like, a, you know, a giant room. that had studio, I think. It had like a bar. It had like a game room. All types of different stuff like that. But it also had like a studio. And <laughs> to add insult to injury, people have said that they have spotted young girls in the side of the building, in the alleyway. So, I don't know where you want to go with that. Anyway, also, in addition to this uh, report that I was initially reporting on before I, I went off sideways into that other stuff, RCA, and, you know, the owner of RCA, which is Sony Music, they have decided that they are not going to release any new music from R. Kelly. I think they're, they're deciding to part ways with him. That, like I said, there's just too many accusations. There comes a point where people just can't keep turning and looking the other way. So, I don't know when was the last time R. Kelly actually released any new music. If anybody knows when the last time R. Kelly released some new, new music, please let me know. And what songs they were and what year. Because, I mean, quite honestly, as far as I know, the last new music he released was like in the early 2000s. Obviously, I can be wrong about that. Anyway, so um, that's just some R. Kelly updates for anybody that was uh, curious and wanted to know. That's some R. Kelly updates. So uh, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about these uh, these new findings. I don't even know what to call them right at this point. But I want to know what anybody thinks about. I want to know what y'all think about these uh, new situations that uh, he finds himself in. 
You know, um, we don't know how old or how young the new accuser is. The fact that he had a building that had sleeping quarters in it and allegedly, allegedly had young ladies lined up in the freaking, um, the alleyway, uh, you know, next to the damn building. They made it sound like waiting to get in. I want to know what y'all think about this. I want to know what everyone thinks about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.